let me thank you very much for, 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 for your time and uh, also for your contribution and the lovely article that you've written that is so very fitting in the time that we are in and also to us it's, 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 uh, it's a sensitive topic as you have uh, uh, written there about the dilemma of donations because uh, um, um, as an organization that relies on donation and the goodwill of, of, of our donors um, is it a very very as i say um, significant that you have come up with such a, 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 a delightful article about that which i say is sensitive and uh, as how and when ngos should 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 give and so would you be able to tell us a little bit about the article also for those who have, haven't had the opportunity of reading it and then also tell me what motivated the article dilemma of, of, of donations that is uh, featuring in our issue for rolling inspiration certainly thank you for the opportunity raven um, you know, I'm, I'm sure everybody listening in will agree that uh, back around about this time and a little bit later last year, uh, COVID-19 hit us like a bombshell. Uh, the, the entire world and our country in particular, our country in particular because we were already in a uh, fairly dire economic state because of the history of the past 10 years and, and, and so on. And, and this uh, really caused a double whammy on us. Now, the, 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 the thing is that, that Quasa was hit. The reason I wrote this article was that Quasa was hit with a dilemma because um, the, the, the visible part of our membership, uh, uh, the, 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 the small percentage that stay in South Alp centers, all of a sudden started uh, uh, finding themselves in dire difficulties. Um, their uh, expenditure remained the same, and some of them were already in, 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 in really difficult uh, situations as far as their uh, finances were concerned. But their uh, the, the, the donations started drying up because the, the, the donors had to tighten their belts like everybody else in the country, the economy was hitting them, and uh, donations just became more and more difficult. So the, the first almost knee-jerk reaction uh, of, of, of course at that stage is, is to pay attention to the needs of these self-help centers. But then somebody pointed out, guys, uh, there's a whole host of people, probably in excess of 95% of people that stay outside of that self-help centers. And, and so uh, uh, this got me thinking because, because Quasa does have a reasonable reserve, but it's not an a, a endless reserve. You know, it's, it's, it's got a bottom line to it. And Quasar's functionality is not just handing out uh, uh, donations to other organizations and, and, and assisting. There, there's, there's a much broader perspective to uh, Quasar's functionality. So uh, I decided to write the article, firstly, to, to put out the, the, the situation that we, busy, uh, that we faced. Uh, and, and secondly, the, the quasi's dilemma within the situation that we're facing. And then thirdly, to put some very broad and basic ground rules. Now, obviously, these ground rules aren't cast in stone, and they're not the only ground rules they can be added onto. But, but just by way of example, I added some ground rules so that we can look at what is and what is not possible in terms of, of quasi support to its members. So, so that really is the gist of the article and my motivation for writing it. Back to you, uh, Raven. Oh, oh, George, thank you, thank you. That is, uh, I mean, I can see the the, the background of, of what motivated you to, to, to write the article. And uh, George, as you mentioned, uh, now you said the, um, the, the function, it's not only the function of, of Quasa to hand out uh, donations to other organizations, as you mentioned it now, but we know that, uh, um, um, it has happened and, and the quasi has got this, uh, as you said, some reserves. And uh, you, you also mentioned in your, in your article that uh, the quasi must focus on its reason for being, which is it's, 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 so, so, so can you maybe just uh, expand a little bit more on why is it important for organizations to stick to their mission when considering a donation? Um, 
you, you know, uh, uh, NGOs and, and, and NPOs are absolutely dependent for their livelihood, their future and their functionality on their stakeholders um, and, and, and the stakeholder expectations. Now on stakeholders, uh, I define a stakeholder as anybody that has an interest in 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 the uh, MPO uh, and in this instance Quasar, so that uh, those are our donors, but also our members, because our our members have got a certain expectation of 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 what we can and what we cannot do, and sometimes our member ex expectation is a bit skewed, and and maybe sometimes our members are taking a bit of a chance on 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 what they can get Quasar to do for them and not. Um, but on the other hand, and, and pro probably more importantly, um, donors look at uh, uh, organizations that they donate to very critically, because um, if, if there is a suspicion that money is being used irrationally or uh, without the, uh, the adequate underlying governance and discipline, those donations are going to dry up. That is uh, uh, um, just uh, by way of an interjection. That is why it is so important to write reports, and the comprehensive reports, to our donors uh, on, on what we are doing with their money, because that is the way that we can carry on a relationship with donors. So uh, to stick to your mission is, is, is to make sure that the donors have confidence in us and trust, in, uh, and trust us. With, with, with the money that they donate. But, so that's the one thing. But the other thing is I want to turn to the membership. When, when we hand out uh, uh, funds to, 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 to uh, Quasar members, member, member organizations that request funding, we must weigh up the needs of that individual entity, whether it's a person, whether it's a self-help center, whether it's a region, we must weigh up the needs of, of that entity against the sacrifice that must be made by the collector. Because you must remember that the donated money that is in Quasar's reserves doesn't belong to the Quasar Management Committee or to the extra. It belongs to the Quasar membership. So whenever money is applied to one entity, the entire membership of Quasa sacrifices that money in favor of the entity that benefits from it. And so the, 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 the benefiting, uh, uh, the, 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 the benefit that this entity is going to receive must be greater than the sacrifice the collective makes. Otherwise, uh, um, you, you, you shouldn't know that. And, and, and that, that benefit is, is a, a two-edged sword because the benefit could be, let us say somebody asks for 10,000 rand and you give that person 10,000 rand. Now you open the door by setting a precedent and you can get 100 or 200 other people also asking for 1,000 rand. And all of a sudden you've got a problem. So you must, you must weigh up the way you give donations in terms of your your uh, accountability to your to your donors but you must also weigh it up in terms of what is going to be the knock-on effect of this donation to this entity in terms of the larger picture and yeah so 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 that really covers that question of why we should stick to our mission we we, we should be very careful uh, that our donations are in line with our mission Oh, well, it was very, 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 very uh, significant there and such a good comment on that. And uh, um, I just want to use an example now, similar along the lines as what you've mentioned now, if one person is requesting 10,000 rand, it will get uh, uh, some others also. And uh, we have, uh, in the, along the same lines, even changed the, 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 the policy or the, the criteria, for example, the sports fund, where it would be easier to fund a group that's going to attend a sports event than to give uh, 15,000 rand for a single hand cycle to one person. Mm -hmm. However, that one person could end up being the next champion. 
Exactly. And it can change his or her his life. And uh, so, so, so I see, I, I, I so much agree, and I see now why you say that that benefit should be weighed up. And uh, most of that responsibility for adjudicating the funds and then for, for, for applying the criteria falls squarely on the executive committee or even sometimes the whole board of of, of, of And uh, and and, uh, and I'm, I'm asking this now for you also as a also a member that serves on those committees. So what does this mean for Quasar now as in terms of, of, of uh, looking at criteria for funding and also criteria of soliciting funds? Do we change everything or do we just look at certain items or certain aspects that would need to be adjusted? Thank you, Raven. And the quick answer to that before I get to the long answer, the quick answer is that we must, we must stick to our knitting. We must do what we do best, and the, uh, in 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 terms of of, uh, 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 of soliciting resources, Quas has three avenues available to it. The first avenue is advocation, the second avenue is facilitation, and the third avenue is direct support. So let's talk about advocation. We advocate needs uh, uh, to, to, to potential donors, and we can motivate specific needs for a specific donation to cover that particular need. Um, the, the recent uh, uh, relationship that we had with ComAir is, is, is a case in point. Uh, but then you also get donations that are earmarked for the responsible use of Quasar without any specification. And, and, and those donations are really the tricky ones because it's, it's not packaged, it's not ring-fenced. Uh, it is open for us to decide. And what we do with it and how we decide and how we govern it and how, uh, the discipline that we exercise there, that, that, that is where the problem is. So um, we, uh, when, when we advocate, we, we, we need to specify exactly what we want to go, the, the, the fund. And we, we need to look at external resources that can, that, that, that can address that problem directly. And, and we need to motivate the problem to them and we need to, to motivate the situation to them. And, 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 and we need to motivate it thoroughly and, 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 and uh, comprehensively. But then we also need to uh, uh, clearly monitor the way we apply the, 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 the funding. And then in terms of advocation, I, I don't need to preach on advocation because advocation is a speciality of Quasar. So I don't, you're now preaching to the converted here. But the one thing that I want to say and, and underline here is when we advocate, Quasar needs to lead by example. If Quasar comes up, and says, listen, I'm prepared to take this portion of my reserves and, and, and uh, channel it into this particular need. But I don't have sufficient to cover the need in full. So you can see I'm doing it, we're doing it already from our side, but we need assistance. The donors are going to be far more, uh, you, you're going to get them involved far easier if they can see that you're already proactively doing something about something. But if you just sit back and say, I want this, I want that, I want the following, and you do nothing about it yourself, uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult. So I think in terms of advocation, we, we need to, 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 to set the example by, by getting the ball rolling and then getting to the, 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 the donors to, 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 uh, to assist. Then let's move on to facilitation. Facilitation really has three components to it. You firstly, you identify a need. And then secondly, you find an external resource that can address that need. And thirdly, you link the need to the resource. So advocation and, 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 and facilitation are, 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 are very similar, um, but and, 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 and they, they, they interact with one another. But uh, facilitation is is really has to do with specific needs in specific situations, and and this is where COVID nineteen comes in, because Quasa cannot afford to feed its members. It's a bottomless pit, but there are hundreds of organisations 
that have set out to feed the needy. So, and, and, and businesses and shops and, 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 and uh, uh, food chains and, 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 and those people. And, and that's where you, you, you contact them. And you say, listen, there is a need, there is, there, there, there is a situation where, where members of PARS are going hungry. Is, is there a way in which you can help? Um, and uh, uh, then if people offer their help, you, 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 you then link the two together. So, so, so you, you can't feed on your own reserve, people from your own reserves, but, but you need to make yes. a plan. And uh, uh, yeah, and and uh, so that's that's basically it. Link link the need to the resource, and if the, the if the resource is local, um, then a relationship can be struck up between the person that receives and the person that gives. Okay, that covers it. It does. It does. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's the second one, and then the last one causes supports. You know, uh, 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 things things like Sabbath battery. Quasi stuck up a relationship with 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 Sabbath, um, but uh, uh, you know, okay, that's that's really part of the facilitation. But if if it, uh, a wheelchair is needed, uh, and and funding support for the wheelchair is is, is needed, then uh, uh, those those funds can be provided. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, George, you're very very uh, eloquent when when it comes to these. Uh, uh, um, Sticky uh, uh, topic uh, uh, elements as uh, about the donations and when to give and how to give and especially the expectations there. And so we know that uh, Quasa as an organization that that assists and has to because I mean that is uh, being with with it is as you said with advocacy or being a uh, lobbying. Uh, so are there an exception uh, to, to to this? Ever, if especially in the, the case of pandemic, or any exceptions? Um, uh, Raven, there are always exceptions, um, and you know, COVID nineteen is a large exception to the normality of our lives. It's, it's really knocked us around, um, but exceptions must be managed, and 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 the way we manage our exceptions is is is, is crucial. To, to, to our future. And um, so we need to do it in a well thought through responsible manner, but with full disclosure, full transparency to all stakeholders. Yes. We must tell our donors what we're busy doing. We must ask our donors permission if they would be comfortable if we apply their donations in the proposed way. We must explain to our members this is how far we can go and we can't go any further because of the following and the following. So, so uh, except because exception management, remember I mentioned precedents earlier, exception management has the, uh, the huge danger of setting a precedent that can have a knock-on effect for a long time to come. So it must be very careful, uh, carefully done. One act of kindness, that is very well intentioned can result in a flood of demands with serious and very difficult repercussions. So yes, to answer your questions, there are always exceptions and exceptions must be managed, but exceptions must be managed thoroughly and, 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 and with, with uh, good governance and good communication. Uh, well, 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 George, as I said, it's, it's, it's very, very important that the, the, what, what you mentioned there, and also the expectations, because we are just expected to assist each and every person that uh, sends a, a request, and uh, we get frowned upon if we do not uh, uh, acknowledge or are in a position of uh, assisting everyone. And uh, I'm glad that you have uh, uh, given us insight into your article that you have written. We 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 still have uh, uh, some 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 time left, and I do want to encourage anyone who has uh, a question that they want to ask or a comment to make to indicate, and we will give you the opportunity to do so. And uh, also, I I just just need to mention that I have uh, posted in there just to inform everyone that we are affected. We have been informed that we are 
experiencing some load shedding currently not only us here but everyone so our uh, time the time that we were scheduled that has happened we do have uh, uh, contingency plans in place in the rate as such however does not cover each and every aspect of uh, powering the office so we will have a little bit of an interruption if it happens i mentioned that uh, Bariska will, will take over from me but uh, if there's no further questions or comments for george and I I want I've, to... I've, I've, I've got two further points that I would just like to raise that were, were part of the questions, but I think it's important, and maybe it, 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 it could prompt some of the questions. Um, perfect, perfect, well, well, George. One... Then, then go ahead, go ahead and raise those points. Okay. The, the one question is why should rolling inspiration readers care about this this article? And it's not a question of caring; it's a question of understanding. So. Uh, because there are pitfalls and there are limitations. There are things that Kwasa can do, there are things that Kwasa cannot do. Um, there's opportunities for facilitation and collaboration um, within the regions. You know, the, 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 the regions need to, to, to uh, look out for themselves rather than before start running to, 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 for, for help. And then the last point that I want to make, and that's also in my article, the fairness of the situation to the collective, to all Quasa members. The fairness lies in the equal opportunity to apply for help. It cannot lie in the e giving of equal measures. Because if we give somebody according to a specific need, we can't go and give that exact same thing to all the members. It, it, it'll just drown us. So the fairness of the whole situation lies in the equal opportunity to apply. And if a person is living out in the sticks and is a member of Quasa and has a significant difficulty, but he doesn't apply, we cannot help it. But the door is always open to every single member to apply. And that application can be considered. Very valid, very valid, valid point. Very valid point because, as you mentioned, the fairness lies because we do have everyone has opportunity and as i mentioned before that mostly the the the, the responsibility and accountability for when it comes to adjudicating and make sure that we do disperse of our resources fairly that lies on the board that we have and that board is uh, put together from nominations and elections from 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 the the, the regions and the members on the ground they are the ones that put that board in place so that this is a, that's another indication of the fairness that lies in because it is your representatives that you have there that will be responsible for making the, the decisions and assisting and guiding with those decisions thank you george for 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 for, for adding that you say you said it was a, 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 a two might matters do you did you cover both of them um, yes, uh, I covered both of them. The first one was why should trial inspiration care? Yeah, yeah. care? And, and that was it's a question of understanding, not caring, and then also the fairness situation. So I covered fairness. Both. Thank you. George, thank you very much. And thank you for your, 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 as I say, the diligence that you have and your sacrifices that you make and for, 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 for putting up out these uh, uh, wonderful articles that we have and for your contribution to the magazine. I really thank you for your for your, your, your diligence and also the fact that you do this as a volunteer. So that uh, a volunteerism in you is really commendable. Thank you very much. I wish you well for the day further and for the, 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 the uh, uh, knocking sound in the back. It was not that uh, distracting. And, uh, and, and uh, good luck for the rest of the renovations to you and your family also. Keep well. Thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you, Raven. Thank you, and, and, and good luck with the rest of your your webinar. I will hope it runs smoothly, and and all the best for the future. And good luck for Pasa also for the future. Thank you, George. Thank you. Go well.